Virgo. What is the word, yo? It is Mira. It is Shiva. It is Vera. And the Scorpio Red Tarot. I am back at it one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you. For the month of October 2020, show me the money energy. I know, I know that you guys are literally getting this video on the last day of October on Halloween. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys are enjoying your Halloween. Um, but as you know, I did promise that you guys would get your October video and it will come along with a bonus tea read video for October going into November. So I've already recorded that for you guys. So make sure that you guys check out that tea leaf bonus reading. And we're going to get into the energy for today so if there's anybody who would like to show support to the page or like share and subscribe you know how to do that thank you so much for everyone who is like share and subscribe if there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading you can check the description box or you can check the about tab on my youtube page i only do video readings okay and i do video readings on instagram messenger if you do not have instagram messenger prefer not to use your instagram messenger you can connect with me on google hangouts it's a free easy app to download Load and the only thing that we need to exchange with each other is our emails. Mine is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So once you book with me, we can connect on either Google Hangouts or Instagram Messenger for your video reading. Okay. If anyone else would like to show any other signs of support, um, if these videos resonate and help give you the guidance that you need and you want to send some love and support to the page, you can check out the Amazon wish list. You can check thank you to everyone who has sent birthday love to me through the Amazon wish list, through the Cash App, to the Pay and the PayPal. I know my birthday was October the 25th so thank you guys so much um, and if, like I said if these videos resonate and you just want to show support you can check out all forms of just love and support um, ever on the description and the about tab on my page so as you know Virgo we're always going to show uh, love and support to our Father God for bringing us here for waking us up today and for giving us this message and for using me as a vessel to get these messages from him to you so we want to bow our hands and just give thanks to you know God for a second so Father God thank you so much for bringing us here thank you so much for waking us up thank you so much for all of the elements the earth the water uh, fire and air thank you so much for all of the, the the elements that you've given us here on this earth father god um because we need them in every step and every pathway that we cross father god we may need you know earth to help us ground ourselves we meet we may need the air to help us learn how to speak and um use our uh our vocal skills and our intellect we may need um uh fire to keep our passions burning and keep us driven and, and going into the water to help nourish our body and just to keep our emotions intact so father god we're learning how to master each one of these skills in this moment in this day and age in this life that we're in father god and we just thank you for just teaching us the purpose of each one of this the the elements um because i just touched on them briefly but it, it goes way deeper than that father god and um I feel like right now we're real deep in, you know, our natural sense and our earthly element. We're trying to get ourselves grounded. We're trying to focus on our abundance. We're trying to focus on our education, our growth, our awareness, our oneness, you know, where our vocation is with the earth right now, where we should be, you know. So, Father God, thank you for, you know, all of the healing and, and just everything that you've been bringing into Virgo's life. Please give us guidance for October and and. and any guidance and messages that you have for Virgo um, for, for today and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. <clears throat> so, let's get into this reading. As you guys know, if you've been watching my other readings, I'm going to face these cards down. And uh, Leo wanted to let you stick to the spread, but I'm going to stick to the spread. Okay, I'm going to stick to the spread, honey. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, boom. All right. Child, I've been on vacation. I better hope I remember the same spread <laughs> that I was doing. Honey, let me try to tell you some. Sometimes you really need a vacation. But I'm going to tell you one thing that I learned. I guess I'm, we just going to have a side conversation while I'm getting the cards out right here. Please surround yourself around people that um see it for you you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of people and like i say friend family or foe treat a hoe like a hoe i don't give a damn 
who they are. It could be your own mother. It could be your cousins. It could be your friends. It could be a colleague. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're trying to make moves and progress in your life. Please only make sure that you got people close to you and nearby you that really see it for you. You know what I'm saying? That really, really see it for you and that want to see you thrive and that want to see you happy and that want to see you and your life better. Because if you take people with you and if you keep people around you when you're supposed to be in your state of happiness and have they're not happy in their life, they're not satisfied in their life or they're jealous of whatever uh, opportunities that you have in your life, you are going to fail. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to disappoint yourself. You know? You're going to disappoint yourself because some people are going to take that moment of happiness. They're going to take that moment of joy or whatever the hell it was away from you. And I'm when I was on my vacation, a part of it was absolutely ruined because of some negative energies that I had around me at that time. You got the shallow grave. It says you're missing someone or someone is missing you. Lord Jesus. But you know, that card is basically saying you need to let something go, honey. But, um, mm-mm. Mm-mm. When you guys are taking control of your life, make sure that everywhere you go, every step you take, and I'm trying to tell you, life is like a stage. Pay attention to each player, each character, and know their part and their role in the story so you can play yours accordingly. Because you never know, like, you know what I'm saying, who will destroy and get in the way of your state of comfort, baby. Friend, family, or foe. Treat a hoe like a hoe, and I'm so serious about it. You never know. You never know who the devil will use to trigger you sometimes, you know? So always protect your peace, y'all. Always protect your peace at all times, baby. Especially when you're supposed to be going out out of town or somewhere in a state of comfort so i don't know like that was just me just rambling my personal thoughts and lesson that i learned i just felt like you know let me just pass that lesson on to y'all because maybe you, you never know who needed to hear that message so i'm trying to tell you especially if it has anything to do vacation and moving um anything where you're making certain movements to bring forth happiness and enjoyment Please be very wise and be mindful who you are carrying with you. Look, the Joker. We are all mad here. Okay, bitch? We are all mad here, bitch. Come on now. Look, you got both of the fucking Jokers just came out. Both of the Jokers. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. How in the hell did the both of the Jokers come out? You got the big joker and then the little joker. And the little joker was in the reverse. So I'm just I'm just about to <laughs> tell you what I'm just getting off of this energy here. Before we even get into the general energy. Alright. So you got the big jokes to the big tricks to that. Like to me that's like the devil card. To me like this is like the devil card. And to me, like, this is like the temperance card. But this is the temperance card in the reverse. You understand? So, it's like, whatever this... Who is this? The, um, the Mad Hatter. It's like, whatever this... this Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. It's like the, 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 this one ain't even listening. You know what I'm saying? Because this motherfucker know that they crazy and that this one has control. Like, this is some type of, um... Uh, a shallow grave. Someone is missing you. Like this is it's like oh ye who has little faith. I don't I like I heard myself say that earlier, but I didn't I didn't say it. But once I saw him, I was like I had to say oh ye who has little faith and like lets the devil control them. Someone is letting like a temptation drive them crazy. Um and it's like the devil is like, we're all mad here. Welcome to hell. <laughs> it's like, twinkle, twinkle, little bats. Oh, I wonder where she's at. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, down in the shallow grave, like, chasing, chasing a ghost. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
this is the thing Virgo I don't know if this is Virgo or someone that is attached to the Virgo or still trying to attach their thoughts and their energy to the Virgo and stuff like that you see the ace of swords here right next to the devil and the temperance and the perverse here it's like a deep stairwell in the mind you know what I'm saying it's like constantly craving this energy of like I want to say it's like I don't I mean I want to say obsession almost it's like you can't stop it's not like a negative but bad obsession but it's like I mean shit I've been here where it's like I've loved someone so much I miss someone so much I can't stop thinking about them like I'm indulging in like fantasies and shit that I know isn't real you know what I'm saying but it's like deep in your mind with this ace of swords you know with that light shining out of that tunnel there it's like don't allow yourself to like go that far from the truth like you really know what the truth and the reality is of the situation it's a deep deep stairwell that you're going to have to walk up i mean it's it's not going to be an easy um it's going to take some determination it's going to take some skill it's going to take some power it's going to take some learning um and it's not easy learning for you to kind of like get a grip of this because I feel like someone kind of fell down the rabbit hole a little bit too much um, and you gotta understand everyone in this place that follows the Cheshire Cat like I swear I feel like the Cheshire Cat is the devil in Alice in Wonderland it's like don't listen to his lies don't listen to his illusions don't listen to the fairy tales it's his thing he look we're all mad here this motherfucker crazy. I'm crazy. Like, we're all crazy. Like, this is normal. Like, this is not normal. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's like, don't let your emotions in your mind play a joke on you. Like, don't go that deep down the tunnel. Like, you know what the truth of the situation is. I know you miss this person. And, like, and if you even look at this card, you see math and formula and stuff like that. You know certain shit isn't adding up, like, regardless of what your, um, you are saying your anxiety, it's like, because I'm like, we're supposed to be, be with each other, and, and, and whatever I'm saying, I don't know, like, if you're just, like, professing, like, how you feel, but it's based off of... It's based off of the wrong shit. It's either based off of jealousy. It's based off of lust. It's based off of you wanting this situation because of insecurity or something. And it's like whatever you're saying, no one is listening to it because it's like you're possibly not listening to the truth or whatever. It's like I feel like I, someone got the devil on their back and they need to pay attention to the truth because... What they're saying out their mouth being led by this energy is making them sound crazy and everyone is mad there. So see the light, like you know the truth, like only speak intelligence, only speak of truth and logic. Do you understand? I know that you missed a person, but don't go to the person. I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm trying to, it's like... You see and you know that the situation is over. It's dead. You understand what I'm saying? It's a shallow grave. You know what I'm saying? Like even in stairwell. You see how deep. You see how deep it goes. You know what I'm saying? It's. It's done. You know what I'm saying? Like stop trying to dig up old skeletons and stuff like that. And then get mad because people think you creepy. You understand what I'm saying? Like we have been broke up. This is old. Like why are you trying? You know what I'm saying? So it's like. You got to let it go and stop giving it to some illusion and see the truth of the situation. Do you understand? Like, because I am getting like borderline obsession and uh, okay, I'm sorry. It says every next level of my life would demand a different version of me. So right now it's time for like change. It's time for you to manifest and see like the light at the end of the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? every next level of my life would demand a different version of me so this thing is dead it's done it's over finito you have to re recognize what it is and leave it pay it its respect lay some flowers on it and walk away this new person that is 
defeating this devil that is letting go because like this is not good not good like this is where someone is continuously trying to express their emotions and their affection to someone that possibly doesn't want to be with them because it's like the devil is on their back and it's like you know putting all these emotions and it's like you just can't control like I want to say like this is like someone telling you to stop talking to them stop messaging and then leave them alone but it's like the devil is on them so bad with this compulsiveness it's like they can't stop sending love letters or they can't stop like and it's like you know I'm sorry like whatever that is right there you gotta control that shit mo like you gotta control that shit you got to see what this, this is doing to you and how it's making you look. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time for you to really face the tracks, the facts that I, I, I can't. What is this? The Eight of Swords. Listen, this is the Eight of Swords. In the, is this in the reverse? Thank God it's in the reverse. So, again, this is the devil energy. The Eight of Swords to me is like imprisonment, being bound, being trapped, being led by like, I want to say false intentions, like intentions that are not pure or something like that. You understand? But it's like you can't stop doing what you're doing. You can't uh, release yourself from being obligated or doing da 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 da. It's like if you feel like you got to do something because they're making. I don't like again, like that's this. It's like it's like the devil is making you say that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to make it sound like literally the devil, but it's like your obsession, your, uh, uh, just not being able to let go. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're finally like looking at yourself in the mirror and looking at how toxic possibly some of your actions or whatever been going. Like the fact that you've been held down and bound to this shit and not releasing it, how it kind of could have drove you crazy like I like this girl wrapped up like she in the day in the same asylum or some shit like that and it's like do you see this is her looking at herself in the mirror who she used to be and it's like you see those birds trying to unwrap her trying to untie her trying to get her to see you know what I'm saying you shouldn't think that way anymore you shouldn't do that because swords is thoughts it's thoughts and communication you shouldn't communicate you you shouldn't communicate like that anymore because it's I want to say it's not bringing you any less of a burden. It's, it's, it's keeping you more tied up in the things that you're trying to release yourself from being a, in an illusion about. I'm really getting someone that's in like some deep... Oh, God, I hate this. What is this? This is a nine of fucking clubs in the reverse. This is take some more tea, the March hair said. I've had nothing yet, so I can't take more. Again, like I'm trying to tell you, like this is someone trying to force their self on somebody with the nine of clubs. So like the nine of clubs is like God, y'all. Cause now only thing I'm I'm trying to think, man. I don't think I'm seeing is like someone constantly trying to force someone to drink something to take something to do something it's wanting someone to stop resisting almost you know what i'm saying and they don't want whatever the fuck it is so it's like stop trying to force your own personal wants and needs on other people and then get upset because they don't want to take it or something like that this is someone like i feel like she doesn't want it like, like she doesn't it's like she's at the tea party but you're not going to force me to drink something that i don't want like i like i'm here like i'm trying it's like someone is i want to say someone is like trying to make peace um with someone but it's like oh let me go to the nine of clubs y'all because i'm i'm serious i just i can't right now the nine the Nine of Clubs, a traditionally a card of luck, and this was in the reverse, a card of travel and achievement, 
luck in business, a lucrative business opportunity, a lucky break or a successful career move, a representative of time and space, distance, someone or something far away, a long duration, something long lasting, surrounded by space, this card denotes postponements and um, long delays. This is also a card of travel. From the notion of time and distance, this card can represent a journey for business or for pleasure. This card can also represent an emotional, uh, psychological, or spiritual journey or the quest for self. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like... Again, and then if you're thinking about the Nine of Wands... The Nine of Wands is someone defending themselves, like not backing down, like, you know what I'm saying? Like protection, holding their ground, you know, it's like. I'm really getting that someone needs to look at. Um, I'm sorry, I really do feel like someone is letting some level of like obsession like get the best of them and they may be forced trying to force feed or force someone to do something and it's like and, and like I said it's like I'm here I'm listening to you but I'm gonna need you to not talk craziness and I need you to make sense it's like where I want to be around you or something like that because it's like twiddle me <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's like, who the fuck is like, where is this shit coming from? It's like, I just like, we broke up a long time ago. So it's like, what do you mean you're still in love? Or like, you're, it's like someone is, mm-mm, mm-mm, what is this? The tower in the reverse. We got the face. Oh, God. I'm trying to tell y'all. The faceless ghost and the haunted girl. Ghost people. So you got the tower in the reverse. So again, like this is someone trying to ignore. Um, avoid a bad situation. This is a situation that should not continuously be put back together. Like this is something that you already know. Like deep in your mind. Like you know the truth and the truth is trying to see its way out of like i don't know what type of deep tunnel of illusion or fixation someone has you know what i'm saying it's like this person has buried someone has buried this relationship and has paid it its respects and has transitioned onto a new life, a new lifestyle, and is in a better place in their life. The other person is resisting change. It's like they're still trapped, they're still confined. It's like they are still kind of struggling to see their way out of it. And still, even when you, there may be distance, um, and it may be even more distance now because it's like if every time the person comes around, they're like trying to force you to see or talking about some shit is no longer in, exi in existence and it's like I don't want that shit like what it's like so avoiding someone like avoiding the tower like, this is the tower going into the star you understand so like this it whoever the person is that is well aware the situation is over and has moved on this person is in their element they know who they are they know their purpose they know what they want it's probably this person from their past and another person this person probably got two idiots haunting them and shit that this person is trying to ghost and just trying to like shake their energy the fuck off you're like ugh. why are you d digging up old skeletons like what the fuck are you talking about it's just like ah eh, i'm good no no <laughs> absolutely not what is this you got the page of coins in the reverse so again someone's being rejected especially the star in the reverse the three of swords in the reverse so listen this is someone this could be it's like this person isn't learning this person isn't really truly seeing their worth here it's like you're still willing to 
move in a direction where it's no love there. It's like, stop writing me letters. Stop confusing yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's like someone willing to move into a third party situation because they just want what they want or something like that. It's like, you know that, you know, this person as it talks to other people, you know, it would be diminishing your worth. Like you're not, this is going into the moon. So like, the moon is someone completely crazy, like delusional. It's like, you're only seeing what you want to see. Like, you see how the moon is right there? The moon is right there. It's like someone is completely being controlled by fantasies, delusions, and their emotions. I want to say someone possibly needs to go seek some help. Because if you don't see that this is unhealthy, because you're only hurting yourself, why are you keep putting yourself around someone that's rejecting you to saying we're not hiring right now or you're not qualified for this position or you don't yeah you don't have enough education or something it's like something that is off you know what I'm saying and it's like like it's just like someone keep writing a letter to, why am I saying BET soundstage in my fucking head? I don't know what the fuck BET soundstage has to do with anything. I guess like I live in DC, right? That's just like someone going up to the BET soundstage or the old BET building up here in DC. BET ain't in DC um, no more. You know what I'm saying? So why the fuck you keep going over there looking for a job? So I'm about to give me a job at BET. BET ain't in fucking DC no more. What are you talking about? Don't nobody work over there? So it's like people is coming over to you. Like, sir, like, if you want to work for BET, you need to go online. This is, like, an industrial... Ma we manufacture fucking uh, towel rods here or some shit like that. Like, this has nothing to do with BET. Like, I don't know who gave you this information. Like, the page of, like, coins in reverse is, like, wrong information. Or someone didn't study or didn't read something right or didn't understand something. You know what I'm saying? And it's, like, so... Why you keep coming here trying to be a star? Like, we don't do that here. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I wrote a letter and this, this, and that. I keep telling you, stop writing letters here. Like, we don't, we don't hire for that type of work here. It's like, again, someone trying to force someone to take a resume. Someone trying to force someone. And it's like, you're not qualified for this job, but we're not looking for work. We're not hiring right now. Like, um... Stop submitting, like, so you can stop being rejected. Like, what are you, like, yeah. Oh, my God. With the death. Oh, my God. I'm fucking telling you. The devil in the reverse. Please pay attention. It's toxic. You have to release yourself from this want, from this desire. I feel like it's a compulsiveness that... It's like you cannot stop, keep trying, or it's like stop. Realize who the fuck is controlling your energy right now. Fucking stop. This person is making you look crazy. No matter of what illusion, the devil will tell you any fucking thing. Oh, you do this for me, and you can have her. And every time you go, you keep getting rejected, rejected, or or who, him, who, whatever. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Listen, you got the mildew fairy. Clean up time. It is time to cleanse. Get a bundle of sage. Clean, baby. Clean. Because it's like you've allowed this type of obsessive compulsiveness to attach itself to you for far too long. Where it's literally about to... That's why the Eight of Swords is here in the reverse. I feel like you're finally looking at the truth and you're recognizing, like, I can't be like this no more. Like, I have to control this. And it's like, control yourself. Like, seriously. If someone tells you that they're not hiring or they reject their self, stop trying to force yourself on people. Recognize that someone's no means fucking no. Do you understand? No means no. Don't be going behind nobody back, like, trying to do no spells, trying to fixate yourself or readjust your energy to, like, no. Readjust your energy to change it completely and moving this shit the fuck away from you, period. 
It's like you're trying to release. I see that you're with the Eight of Swords. I told you this is the Devil card. This is the Devil card. So this is two cards of you realizing that you have been asphyxiated in some very toxic behavior. You might not even know where it's coming from or why you act like that. Or, but it's like I feel like you're, you're realizing that you're trying to get some type of control. Oh, oh, God, it's cleanup time. The seven of coins in the reverse. So because at the end of the day, all of the effort has landed you nothing in nowhere. Like this person is not adhering. Like this person is not giving you the payout that you were promised by the devil. Like regardless of what the devil said, oh, yeah, this person is going to, you know, Sign their life away to you or something. I don't fucking know. It's like, I don't know. I'm, I feel like this is like a contract, like a marriage contract. Or, um, like the seven of coins is like, um, could be like the conception of something. Like waiting for, um, childbirth or fruit to bear or, you know what I'm saying? So, like, this is like the devil trying to influence you to continue to hope and waiting and stuff and you know and this person is eventually going to come around and it's like this person to keep feeding you whatever illusion and stuff that makes you come around reciting all these stupid ass poems and shit like this part just say this she's going it's going to get her this time no it's not you're going to end up getting a restraining order or something. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're going to end up getting put out of the farm or put out of the organization because this is the eight of coins. This is seven of coins going into the eight of coins. So this is like someone not focusing on their work, not focusing on their business, not paying attention to their yard and their, and their um, what they're trying to grow. Like you're not going around and pulling up the weeds to make sure that it doesn't damage Everything that you've been working for. So it's like. This shit that you've been doing is. Been damaging everything that you've been working for. Do you understand? The eight of coins represent work. So it's like. The eight of coins in the reverse is like someone with a bad reputation. Like you could be. Known as a fucking psycho. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person is trying to ghost you, but you keep coming around, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you need to clean up your act. You're trying to flourish yourself. It's like, this person is obsessed. Like, you don't want people to talk about you or look at you like that. You understand? You have to see the truth coming, the light coming out of the tunnel. Like, you got to un brace yourself. Like, let go. Let go. The five of coins, lack, the three of wands in the reverse, and then the lovers. So this could be someone that you have a child with. Um, because I am seeing with the lovers card right here. Um, there is a man, woman, and child. Um, so yeah, this could be like a and then I'm seeing the wheel right here. So with the chariot and everything. So I'm definitely like this may be someone that you travel to go pick up your kids or see your kids or something like that um uh I, I just I feel like the three of wands in the reverse going into the four of wands like there's a blockage and a delay because of, of this this state of lack this woman's refuse going into the six of coins okay so listen okay so what this is basically trying to say is like the five of coins is someone that um, is suffering from some type of sickness or state of lack um, or mental state of low vibration energy. It's like you don't believe in yourself. You um, may talk down on yourself. Like I am seeing like mental sickness here. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you may need help. You see like a woman's ref. You go to people that can help you. That can talk you to you. And help you through. It's like you might be going through some financial difficulties. Or something. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. It's like. But I'm really getting sickness here. I'm getting sickness. Because I feel like this is like a mental sickness. You know what I'm saying? And it's like someone needs to help you find 
you need like cleansing you know what I'm saying like you need to like seriously wash like wash mildew it, it, it causes other um, mildew is because it's too much moisture right it's too much emotions you see what I'm saying like um like I'm saying, it's like emotionally unstable where it created mildew. You know, so. It's like, it's. Ugh. Like the water is murky here. You need to see things clearly. And that's why I'm saying, and you see this right here, you see how that balance thing is, you know, that Libra scale is right there. It's like you need balance. You need someone to help you learn how to. Balance your emotions in a healthy way. Really learn about yourself, your self-worth. Um, like your integrity, like your inner spirit. I want to say that these people are really going to teach you like real, a healthy way of thinking that will benefit you in a long way. So you don't run around and chase after people that are shutting you out like the, the five of pentacles is someone being homeless, someone being shut out, someone, you know what I'm saying? And again, this could, because the seven of coins in reverse going to the eight of coins in the reverse. The eight of coins in the reverse could be someone who lost their job because their reputation got fucked up because they doing other shit. You know what I'm saying? The seven of coins, you're not focusing on your job. You're not focusing on what you're building. You know what I'm saying? Which, you're not producing the way that you did. You know what I'm saying? So which could have... Lead you into a fucking five of a five of pentacles where you loss of job, loss of resources and shit, and you're needing to get help and mental help too. Because again, look, this is someone still in a fantasy and an illusion of going into the three of wands, into the four of wands. Do you understand? But it didn't happen. You understand? So this is like the three of wands is when someone is leaving. Some shit that is not serving them behind. You know what I'm saying? They're waiting for their ships to come in. They're being patient. They're waiting for their ships to come in. They are moving on to a better place in their life. The three of wands is in the reverse. It's like um, you might have missed your ship. Uh, you know, you may be waiting in vain and ain't nobody coming. Um, you need to replan or rework your direction or something or maybe you ain't really ready to leave something behind and you need to be going forward and leaving and you not you know what i'm saying so and then you got the lovers card here so it's like this person really has a deep sense and a want for a family and i want to say that this person feels shut out from their family and they want to go back to that family Cause they want that sense of love and things like that, but I don't. Mm -hmm. Let me get my weed cards, cause I feel like this person high. For I don't know what the fuck going on with this person, bruh. Give me guidance, like. Give me guidance for this person. What's 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 last guidance, please? The three of hearts. So again, um. The three of hearts is basically saying like the three of hearts to me is representative of family is like the mother, son, and the father, you know? Um I want to say that this person is just fighting for their family and really wants their family to come back together. But if something is over, it's over. And you got to recognize that because if you allow the devil to attach itself to this three of hearts, something that could be positive and you don't have to um, be in a relationship with the person, um, but you can co-parent healthily. You know what I'm saying? You could do it in a healthy way. Um, anytime that this type of energy is attached to the three of hearts, it brings third parties, which is this, the three of swords, someone writing you, telling you lies and manipulating you, telling you that they love you when they really don't and things like that. And that's not what you want. 
You don't want to be mishandled like that. You don't want to be waiting for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like the Jack of Clubs. And then you got the Seven of... Okay. So, and then... Hold on. So, it's basically telling me, like, you are a hard worker. Like, you're willing to put the work in. You're willing... And I see the Jack of Clubs has green and red all over them. So, they're very passionate. And is a person that operates off of integrity in their heart. This person is covered in, you know, the heart chakra. In red. So it's like this person is grounded and in, 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 in rooted in what their heart wants. I feel like their heart wants family with the seven of... of uh, with the seven of diamonds, the seven of diamonds is like a big ticket item, like purchasing a house, purchasing a car or a boat or something like that. Um, I mean, like you could have came into some luck, some money. Um, like to me, like this is like the jackpot card. You know what I'm saying? Like you going to the casino and you getting the 777 you know what I'm saying like this is like the good luck card to me so I want to say that this person at this time should be in search of new love look nine of spades jack of spades okay I was just about to say that okay so this person should be in search of new love because the nine of spades is basically when you feel like You've been stabbed in the back, like you're suffering hurt or wounds. It's like a wound needs to heal or something like that, you know? So, I'm going to break it down to you like this. If you don't let your wounds heal and recognize... Okay, let me read this to you. Because the, the nine of spades is like sorrow, resentment, um, you know, it's, okay. The nine of spades is traditionally a card of sadness, adversity, failure, suffering, emotional or physical pain, grief, malice. It's a very unfortunate card. And four bodies, tragic events, in, including accident, serious illness, um, self-injury, Harm to oneself or another, feeling pressured or forced to do something. It can indicate loss of control, a breakdown in established patterns. It could represent disappointment, a broken heart, karmic debts, obligations, a duty to self and others. Remember when I said, um, like mental illness, someone feeling pressured or, or forced to do something or forcing someone on their self. Listen, the jack of the jack of spades is a skillful clever clever person most often a male a soldier cadet a police officer a young person from a foreign country a young leader may be unsettled erratic emotionally inconsistent a troubled youth a bully a gang member a juvenile delinquent a cold calculated emotionally controlled detached liar a spy it could represent the dark thoughts or um it could represent dark thoughts or the dark thoughts of or the king or queen in spades so again like this is When you're not allowing yourself to heal. When you're not allowing yourself to heal. And you're allowing yourself to be fixated on this obsession and things like that. That's where this comes. That's where all of this, this stuff comes into play. And I don't want you to lose your job. And I don't want you to ruin your reputation. And if this is someone that is, is family like y'all have kids together i don't want this woman to block you and make you go seek counseling and, and help before you can see your kids or because i don't know if this is the woman or the man is doing this y'all have to take it how it resonate but whatever this is it's like someone is being pushed to the brink of insanity and what we're asking you to do is to level up because if you allow yourself to heal and stop operating under the suffering, because that's why you're so fucking obsessive and shit. 
You understand? Your heart will actually heal itself and then you'll do what you need to do to find new love and then you'll be able to receive all of the blessing, the hope, everything that you ever asked for. Let me read these cards to y'all. Oh my goodness. Okay, so like the three of hearts. The three of hearts represents love, beauty, happiness, new love relationship, or a love triangle if surrounded by spades. That's what I'm saying. The more and more that you, like, if you know that this person don't want to be with you, you know this person is messing with other people, you know that this isn't meant to be, this is something that you need to avoid, like, stop trying to force yourself into someone's life and stuff, because you're creating a triangle, you are causing... Because this other person could be having a healthy relationship and you're causing an interference in, in their relationship. Don't do that. You understand? This is a card of new love. And you doing whatever you can so that good luck and good fortune could come to you because you are trying to break the cycles or recognize the toxicity and the foolishness of however your behavior patterns because something happened with made someone like trip. Okay? So listen... The three of hearts represent creative talent, artistic ability, creative achievements such as poetry. I told you I'm writing poetry and shit. Um, art or work, fertility, blood and life, a prayer, religion, a growing embryo, the increase of uh, something beautiful such as blooming flowers, a developing love affair, a growing child, a small celebration, a job promotion. Do you understand? So it's like... You can have it, but it's all it's going to be with someone and something new. Someone and something new. Do you understand? It's not going to be in this old situation that you keep trying to. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, hold on. Lord Jesus, y'all. Mm -mm. The seven of diamonds means financial achievements, rewards and recognition, earned success, steady improvements, efforts reward, lucky money, wins, a pay raise, improved prospects, a nest egg, financial investment, stocks, bonds, and e-trading. Do you understand? So, like I told you, like, not only will the love come, but the financial success will come. A nest egg, like a new chance for new life and love. Like as long as you're willing to put the hard work in and actually change. So like the club, the jack of clubs are hard working, honest, sincere young person. He is busy an active person most often, most often a male. He is clever, enterprising. He enjoys sports and may participate in school or community football, baseball, soccer. He could represent an employee. Also denotes he could be um, an acquaintance for work. He could be a close friend and business associate, associate who is useful to the inquirer in some manner. He may wear a uniform or his uniform may symbolize his work rank. So again, like I said, the more and more that you feed into this, the more and more you're operating on this level. Obsession, stalking, forcing. Yes, you're going to end up going to jail. Like, I'm serious. Someone's going to end up calling the police on you or something. I'm serious. You cannot push yourself on people. Allow yourself to heal so you can find new love. Get job recognition, financial security. You know what I'm saying? The true recognition that you're looking for would earn success where people can see your title. It's not something that you gotta obsess and, and, and drive yourself crazy about. Let's. I'm just gonna use all these cards on you. I got on this damn pretty shit, Virgo, because I feel like you need it. Give Virgo advice and, and love, please. Verbal advice and love, self-indulgent. Look, 
focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. It's time to worry about you not dating. Not dating. Stop looking at these people's photos. That is like, stop. Whoever this person was that you was dating, stop looking at their page. Stop looking at their photos. This right now is not the time for you to date. It's time for you to work on yourself and get yourself together. Look, the phoenix. It's time for you to transform. Listen, new phase. Rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, a change of mind. Okay? No more rekindling old shit from the past. It's time for you to renew your life. It's time for you to upgrade. Look, the girl with the snake. Whoever this girl is, like... It's not good for you for whatever reason. She got her own shit going on that you you don't you don't need you to listen. She's going to run away from you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whatever it is that this girl wants, it's not what you have. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like she's a runner. You understand? So like don't even attach yourself to that. Like period. Like the girl with the snake says Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enabled. Boundaries. So whoever this girl is, is easily manipulated, um, man manipulated by other people. And she'll go running after them. And won't pay no attention to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And she's running after the wrong thing. So that's the last thing that you need to be fucking. Why are you looking at her goddamn picture? She ain't even got her shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like this person is. Whoever this person is at this. Um. Because I'm assuming that this is a man now. Or this is a girl. This is a girl that is fixated on someone that, again, ain't going to do nothing but charm or use you. And you need to enable boundaries. Stop running towards this person. It says, a runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. So, like, this person runs after people. That ain't trying to be with them and just manipulates and use them. You know what I'm saying? So, like, no. It's time for you to work on yourself. I don't know if this is a Virgo male that is fixated on a girl that they used to date. And keep looking at their pictures and he running after her and she running after people that don't want her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's call a thing a thing. It's time for you to transform and lead that girl to her own madness. Look, we're all mad here. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. She's chasing her own. I, listen, the devil got her chasing her own shit, too. So, leave her the fuck alone and focus on you. What is this card right here? The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This whole situation is not going to bring you any positive luck. Do you understand? The will of fortune can always turn around in the upright. But like I said, you have to look at how you are letting your emotions control you. And your fixation on, on shit that is not healthy for you control you. And really, that's that's what it be. Because it's like, this woman toxic running after someone toxic. And you toxic running after her. And all y'all crazy. You know what I'm saying? What is this? The Three of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and then the Eight of Swords again. So, the, we get, got the same fucking cards again. So, it's like God keep repeating the same thing to you. And it's, this is literally the last message. It's like, so what? Let that boat sail away. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe you needed to stay back and let whoever the fuck that was go on and figure out their future without you. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop waiting for this person to come back. This person is gone. You know what I'm saying? It's time for you to readjust and reassert yourself in your current situation right now. Find happiness where you are. You know what I'm saying? Stop waiting for someone to come back. Like, this situation is not going to bring you... You got to deal with the cards that you were dealt. Don't allow nothing or nobody... To drive you crazy. Learn the lesson that you were supposed to learn from it. And it's time to move on. self indulge, and It's time for you to work on yourself. And look at yourself in the mirror. And say why the fuck was I obsessing like that? Why was I tripping like that? You need to face your darkness. And your demons. 
and, and figure out how the devil had you like that. You need to face him and tell him, bitch, you ain't got no power over me. I rebuke you in the face, the sight, and the mind of Jesus. Go the fuck on somewhere. Listen, again, the eight of swords, just like the eight of swords was up here. You don't want to be tied to this no more. You want out of this fucking prison because you are starting to feel yourself go crazy. And I don't think you want to deal with the anxiety, the emotional turmoil. It's too much for you. And it's not physically healthy. That's why I'm saying, like, I feel someone's, like, need to talk to a counselor or something like that to kind of get it off because there is new beginnings here. I think you just had to collect yourself, you know what I'm saying, and realize the behavior and the obsession and recognize it for what it was. I mean, can we say it? I was obsessed for a moment. I was losing it. I maybe didn't even realize really what obsession was or um, being fixated. I didn't. I've never experienced that before, you know what I'm saying? But that's what toxic relationships will do to you. If you let it. We as adults, that's why we have these spaces here. Because sometimes if we don't have these readers and stuff that never talk to us a day in our life, but you sitting up here telling me my whole fucking life, it make you really look at yourself in the mirror for real, for real. And like, what the fuck? Because she's right. It's time for me to change. I'm not going to be a victim of my own delusion anymore. Because the devil will tell you whatever the fuck you want to hear. You know? It's time for me to transform and release myself so I can really work hard and get and get all of the love that I want. This is this is like a new family. This is, this is hard work that's bringing you a lot of blessings, man. A lot of blessings. Go make that change and throw that shit in the devil's face, man. Virgo, I fucking love you, young. I fucking love you, young. Love yourself. Peace.